Hello and welcome to this new video on the IBM i2 Anilsoft Book software. My name is Jean Jérôme and I'm part of the IBM i2 support team. Today I will show you one new feature of the Anilsoft Book new version, which is Anilsoft Book version 9.2.0. So if I go on File, just to show you, File about Anilsoft Book, and I've got so Anilsoft Book version 9.2.0, English and it's uh, so it's a pre-release version, but it's 99.99% uh, similar to the function which will be released soon. So okay, one new feature of the answer book 9.2.0 version is the possibility to backup and to save versions of the charts. So let me show you how it's working. You go on the option here, and under options you go in save. And save, you have this new part here, this new section, ar archiving. And it allows you to archive and save. It, so it, it explains what it's doing. It creates a copy of the chart in the Anitha Book Chart Archive folder every time you save the chart. And you can set up a maximum number of copies per chart. So by default, it's five. And it can also ask to test archives for corruption. So what it's doing? If you activate this function, every time you will save a new change on the chart you are doing, you are working on, it will automatically save a backup version of each, uh, each change you made. And uh, the test archives for corruption, this is because sometimes it's happened very, very rarely, but sometimes uh, some charts, some A and B charts on which are saved on files are corrupted and it's in then impossible to uh, open them in an ISO book chart. So if you, if you click this, it will test every time you save a file, it will test that the file can be open and is not corrupted. So I will click here and five um, copies per chart is okay. Or you can choose to add more numbers of copies per chart or less. And I click on okay. So what I will do is that I will create a new chart. So I just take a man, a woman, and I will save this very simple chart. So save, and I will say test JJ and OK. So it asks me where I want to put it. So OK, answer book nine, test JJ and save. Good. So now I'm making a change, so I'm putting anonymous and I'm putting an account like this and I save again the file. So again, I can do either control S or this here, save and okay, it's the changes was saved. I can move things, I can add a link and this one and I save again and then I make another change and I save again. Good. So now what happened on the background is that every time I click on saved, an Excel book created one new chart file under a special folder. So let me show you where the folder is. So I go on my document, i2, and it's book 9, and you've got this folder, i2 chart archives. So depending on your on the language you are using, the uh, the name of the folder will be different. So I first tried this function in, in with the French version of Anisa Book and it created the fol this folder, Archival de Graph I2. And in English it, it will be i2 chart archives. So let me open it. Okay. So what you see is that it created four files. Those four files have the name is, uh, so it has the name of the, of the real main file, so test JJ. And then you have the date in uh, year, month, and day format at and the time. So uh, 12, 51, and 22 seconds. 12 hours, 15, 1 minute, and 22 seconds. Those charts, you can open them as regular charts because they are an insert book charts. So if I just double click on this one, for example. It opens the file, it opens the archive 
and it's a book chart. So this function is very important for two reasons. One is it allows you to have uh, versions of your chart and this can be very useful for example if you make a mistake and you make and you save and you realize that oh no uh, what i did was wrong and i should not have saved so you can uh, open and reload the previous version of the of the chart by going on this folder here on the uh, i2 chart archives it's also very useful if for some reason your main ANISA book chart, so which is in here in ANISA book 9, so it's test DJ, is corrupted and cannot be opened in ANISA book. If this happens, then you will always have the, the option to open one of the archive files of the archive uh, charts in I2 charts archives. So you go here and you open one of those files or the latest file. So for this, I strongly recommend that you activate this function in Options, Save, and here in Archiving. I strongly suggest that you select and you uh, activate this, this function. And you can set up the maximum number of copies per chart to five or 10, whatever number fits you. So I hope this presentation of this new feature of Anisobook 920 was clear and will allow you to better use this software. Thank you. Bye.